Rocket Fuel Selection The weight of fuel matters in a rocket, the higher trust it can give the better. How to decide which fuel to increase the rocket's efficiency? Let's us have some technical background by watching this video. Rocket design is all about trade-offs, every extra pound of cargo that a rocket needs to lift off the surface of Earth requires more fuel, while every new bit of fuel adds weight to the rocket. Of the two types of rockets discussed in previous videos, solid rockets are simple and reliable, like a Roman candle, and once ignited there's no stopping them, they burn until they run out, and can't be throttled to control thrust. Solid fuel is a composite typically consisting of a solid oxidizer and a polymer binder mixed with energetic compounds, metallic additives, plasticizers, stabilizers, and burn rate modifiers. Liquid rockets provide less raw thrust, but can be controlled, allowing astronauts to regulate the speed of a rocket ships, and even close and open the propellant valves to turn the rocket off and on. Examples of liquid fuel include liquid oxygen, liquid hydrogen, or dinitrogen tetroxide combined with hydrazine. Gas propellants are occasionally used in some applications, but they are largely impractical for space travel. Gel propellants have interested some physicists due to their low vapor pressure when compared to liquid propellants. This reduces the risk of explosion. Gel propellants behave like a solid propellant in storage and like a liquid propellant in use. A rocket needs to be able to operate in the emptiness of space, where there's no oxygen. Accordingly, rockets have to carry not just fuel, but also their own oxygen supply. When you look at a rocket on a launch pad, most of what you see is simply the propellant tanks, fuel and oxygen, needed to get to space. In order to improve their efficiency, rockets need to be less fuel-hungry, which means the fuel needs to come out the back as fast as possible to give the desired momentum, and achieve the same thrust. Ionized gas, propelled through a rocket nozzle using a magnetic accelerator, weighs substantially less than traditional rocket fuels. The ionized particles are pushed out the back of the rocket at an incredibly high velocity, which compensates for their small weight, or mass. What could be the fuel type used by SpaceX, Blue Origin, Uula, Russian and ESA rockets? Comment down below and I will make a separate video on this topic. Thank you for watching.